Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. Today I want to talk about the Deidre quests in the game. Now for the record, I haven't completed all of the all of the Deidre quests in Skyrim. I've probably done a few of them. I haven't done all of them. There's, you know, there's still um, quests that I haven't done, that I've done in Oblivion, and I haven't done in Skyrim. But I can tell you guys this. You know, maybe it's not worth the actual items, right? A lot of the items, they seem, I don't know, less OP than you would find in Oblivion, right? Like Spellbreaker, for example. I got Spellbreaker, right? But I'm a light armor character, and I found a shield that was almost identical to Spellbreaker, and it was glass. Whereas in Oblivion, you don't find that. You know, the Diedrich items are powerful. Right? So, with that being said, I really like the Deidre quests in Skyrim. Because they're unique. Alright? They feel way more unique than Oblivion. Now, Oblivion had its fair share of unique quests. Alright? Like, the Deidre quests, I don't remember the names very well, but I remember the one where you get Wabajack. Um, Shigoras one, where the dogs fall from the sky. The one where you go to the special plane of Oblivion. But a lot of them really didn't feel as special as this game. Like, for instance, Dagon, collecting the pieces of Dagon Razor was pretty normal, okay? But when you gave it to him, it wasn't done. You had to do more, right? You had to, do, you had to like, kill some Diedrich guys and the guy who gave it to you. You had a choice to make. And then there was one, the one that gives you Spellbreaker. I never remember his name. I think it was Hearsene. He's one where, like, you make a... You have to collect all these items to make this potent thing that you... Po potion soup thing that you gotta drink, and then you're drugged, and then you have to do all this stuff, kill all these people that are afflicted and gone crazy, you know? So I really just think that the quests in Skyrim, the Dejic ones, are way more unique than the ones in Sky... and uh, uh, Oblivion. Like, they add so much story, and it's a fun break from the actual, like, Skyrim, normal Sky er, Skyrim gameplay. It's a nice break. Oblivion, you kind of have to go out of your way, and even then, they compared to the Skyrim ones, Oblivions feel very inferior. They feel like you just do a quest, right? And so, with that being said, guys, it's a very short video, but... I think the Deidre quests are worth it, not because of their items. No, 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 not because of their items, but because of the story that they tell and the like long, awesome adventure that you get to go on. It's really cool. I like it. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can tell me in the comments below. What do you think of the Deidre quests in Skyrim? And what do you think of them in Skyrim versus Oblivion? And if you played Morrowind, tell me about those. I haven't played Morrowind yet. But yeah, that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode stream vlog or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.